welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today, as you see in the title, we're canning salmon. This is fresh. This just was caught yesterday. And this is beautiful, fresh salmon out of the Columbia River. Mm. I am super excited. I'm very thankful to have this. And this is about eight pounds right here, all filleted um, and scaled, okay? So I've got, um, let's see, four, six jars out. I only have uh, five of them are wide mouth, which I prefer if you're doing um, fish of any kind. I'm gonna go the ball guidelines, and this is out of a complete guide to home canning and preserving. Um, on page 394 is on how to can fish. Now, it says to brine this. I don't know that I'm going to do that. Um, I just, I don't, I don't see a need to brine it. I've never brined it before, and so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna can this up. It's gotta be pressure canned for uh, 100 minutes, and that's whether you're using a half pint jar or a pint jar. I'm gonna be using my little 10.1 All-American canner today, and I've got three inches of water in there. 100 minutes is a long canning session, but super excited. It's very easy because we're gonna raw pack it. So I'm gonna get a cutting board out and we're gonna get to packing these jars. And um, yeah, I've gotta get my checklist though because I need to have all my things out and ready. So the salmon's gonna go back in the refrigerator until I've got everything out and ready and we're ready to pack the jars. All right, and I'll bring you in close for that. Don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you hit that subscribe button right now. Turn it gray and hit the bell next to it and you'll get notified whenever I upload. I've got over 200 canning videos um, in a playlist. So if at the end of this video, you'll see a playlist you can go through and almost any kind of canning you'd like to do is right here on my channel. All right, so today, yay, we're gonna put some salmon on the shelf. I love canned salmon for a bunch of different recipes. So we'll come back and after this video, we'll come back and we'll do a canning chat and we'll also give you a taste test and I'll show you what I do with this. All right, come on in. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is get my salmon out. Now, this has been washed, rinsed, scaled. Everything is absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to, this is how I'm gonna attack this. I'm gonna put the skin side out in the jar, but I wanna measure my jar on how I need about that much to go in the jar so I have an inch of headspace. Does that make sense? So literally, I'm just gonna cut this right in half. This one needs to be cut in half. And um, so cut that in half. Look at that beautiful salmon. Isn't that gorgeous? And, and it's pretty easy. You're just gonna roll it onto itself and place it into your jars. And this is very cold. You want cold, cold salmon into cold jars. So I can fit another piece in there. I wanna make sure, let's do, maybe we'll cut this piece in half again. Hopefully that makes sense. And of course, you know, you gotta do the skin. Mm, yum. My mouth's watering. I absolutely love salmon. And canned salmon is one of my favorites. So you want a healthy inch of headspace, and that's according to the Ball Book um, of Home Preserving. Uh, a healthy inch of headspace. It's gonna create its own liquid. I, um, I, I think that that's gonna be perfect for this jar. I've got a little bit of airspace over there, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I, I mean, I could maybe, maybe I'll fit a little bit more. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, okay, so we'll put another chunk down in there. There we go. And we still have that nice inch of headspace. Okay, I think that's perfect. Okay, then, just to get you up to speed, I am gonna wipe the rims of these jars with vinegar. Um, I normally do not, and there's gonna be some oils that bent out of here with the salmon, but I don't want added oil baking on there in the canning process, if that makes sense. Um, so I am gonna absolutely take care of the oil. Okay, 
I'm gonna fast forward while I fill the rest of the jars and we'll be back. Okay, so I am using vinegar. And I've already wiped these down, but I wanna, I wanna kinda show you little bits. It's not so much the oil or the fat, but if let's say a scale or a piece of meat gets on the rim and it's it's really easy fish you know to get little fish particles so and i want the jars clean so i've really wiped the whole rim anything that i feel like i touched with the vinegar several paper paper towels later i have clean jars ready and i've heated my uh you can see the steam whoop steam you up um i've heated up my lids and I heat my lids. I didn't need a canning funnel, but I was uh, <laughs> out of habit. So I've got a combination. I've got two Tatler lids. I've already marked the gasket so I know how many times this gasket's been used. And we're gonna use, we're gonna place it. Let's put it on this one there. And we're gonna get, make sure it's on there centered. Get your lid finger tight, then back off about a quarter of an inch. And these are the old Tatlers. Cold jars into a cold canner. Same with the rest of the lids. Okay, so these lids are heated up onto my jar. And if you've got any anything on the jar, I like to line up the date thing with the decoration on the jar so that they look prettier on the shelf if that's where you're gonna store them. Those are just finger tight, and in the canner they go. This is the one time I don't put them in as I go because you can, um, it's cold jars, cold food, cold jars, right? All right, so I don't think there's anything else I can tell you about this. You do want a generous inch of head space, um, and that's per the ball canning book. And I have six pints. I'm super excited about this. This is um, more than enough for me for the year, but um, I plan on sharing this. So if I can get some more salmon, I'm going to do so, and I will be um, canning that up as well. And if you want to come along for that, you can, because I might put a light little bit of smoke on it. I don't want to cook it, but I might, I might put a little smoky smoke on it like a cold smoke. Whew, that's our lid is hot. Center it. And that's a brand brand new lid. Tighten and back off a quarter of an inch. In the canner we go. And my, uh, my lid lifter is over here, even though I don't really need it. All right, cold jars, cold canner. We'll vent it for 10 minutes, and then once we put the weight on and it starts dancing and singing to us, we're gonna time it for 100 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll be back when we're done. All right, guys, uh, my canners come down off of pressure, and um, this is what I do every time. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna pull my mat. Mm, well, no, because I really want them over there. Never mind. I was gonna pull them over here, but um, I've got two Tatler lids in here. So what I do is I let it come all the way down and when you pick up the weight, there's no more hissing, no more releasing of pressure. And I then unlock everything and barely get it up where it can release a little bit of steam. I leave it set for 15 minutes like that. Then I put the lid kind of halfway over for another 10 or 15, letting that pressure, oh, I'm so excited. It does not smell fishy in here. It's still boiling in the jar. It doesn't smell fishy at all, but look at that salmon. Look at that. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh, I'm super excited. Okay, so I've got to tighten that lid because it is a Tatler lid, and I do. And you crank them down as tight as you can get them because it's going to push that seal, help it suck down. The lids are already sucked down. They're not bubbled out. So I think we're gonna get a good seal anyway. But I gotta get this jar. And I don't have, I have, the, the water is a little bit cloudy, but we haven't added any liquid to these jars at all. And man, they are still, they're still rocking and rolling in there. Okay, don't tip your lids. <clears throat> and 
and twist. Okay, that's it. That's it. And the other jars can just come out. So seven pints of delicious salmon. Look at that. I will get good pictures and let you know. It's, you know, salmon's one of those beautiful fatty fishes that um, they're so healthy. And canned salmon, for the kind I buy, wild caught canned salmon, is about for a 14 and a half ounce jar, which would be, um, this ring is a little bit loose. I don't tighten those per se, I just wanted it not swimming around on there. Um, it's almost $5 a can. And this was a gift. All this salmon was a gift, but I'm buying some more. So I'm gonna be doing some more salmon. I think I wanna do um, maybe some flavored salmon. Um, you know, we could do it with some peppers. Mm, some peppers, maybe some jalapeno, or uh, a little bit of smoke on that salmon. And I love, I love how the skin on that looks against the jar. It's just beautiful. All right. There's my canning session. I'm super excited. And I hope it inspires you to try your hand at home canning. Try your hand at home canning salmon. Because if you can put that away, you've got this high, delicious, omega-rich rich fat that your body needs with um, that protein and you can do a ton of recipes and I'll be bringing you along for my salmon patties or salmon croquettes and I've also got another recipe if you'd like to see it but we're going to do a, t a taste test and a post canning video so go ahead and leave your comments in the comment section if you have any questions whatsoever I will try to address them. All right guys happy canning and if you are new to my channel i hope you subscribe i hope that you will give me a thumbs up and maybe share this on your facebook page because right now it's salmon the salmon is are in it's time to get canning all right and if you're in the northwest or let's say you're not even near a coast go ahead and try to find deals at the grocery store because you should be able to find some pretty good deals all right we'll see you next time bye